Hi, my name is Haley, and welcome to my booktube channel. Today I will be reviewing every single Agatha Christie book I've ever read. Um, fun fact, Agatha Christie is actually only outsold by the Bible and Shakespeare. She is number three in terms of books sold, so like, wow. Um, JK Rowling wishes. So in last and final place is Endless Night by Agatha Christie. She wrote this near the end of her career and this is not a Poirot novel. Poirot is one of Agatha Christie's detectives. My thing with Endless Night, not to be any spoilery of course, is that it was very slow to me and although she got me in the end, I like half predicted it so that was a little bit disappointing there she still got a twist in there because of course she's incredible queen of mystery but I kind of called it and there is no Poirot in this book so what the hell but part of the reason I like him so much is like it gives you someone to trust in the book so I just honestly prefer her detective stories. My fourth favorite is ABC Murders. So this actually is a Poirot book. Still love him though. I didn't think that, that the villain was that memorable. A fun fact about this book is that it's the first book about a serial killer. I'm pretty sure. Maybe first fictional book about a serial killer. And so that is like that kind of gave it a fun edge. But overall, maybe it's because nowadays I have read so many stories about serial killers that it lacks that appeal that maybe it had when it was first published. Uh, but of course Poirot's in it, so if you read it you're gonna have a good time, guaranteed. Next on my list is The Murder of Roger Ackoyd. This is actually the first Poirot book, so if you're looking for a fun starting point into the Agatha Christie world, this I can't recommend enough. And this book is incredible. Um, it's one of it's near the beginning of her career. This is a prime example of that classic Christie creativity shining through. She always manages to think outside the box. Next on my list would have to be Death on the Nile. This is one of her most iconic titles, I would say. I've definitely like heard of this before I really read her stuff. This one definitely has like a lot of fun drama with the uh, romance in it. And actually, um, in the forward of this book, Agatha Christie writes that these characters in this book are her favorite characters she's ever written. This is about halfway through her career, so like that's pretty cool that she loved them so much. And I loved the setting of Egypt, that made it very fun. I know that her second husband was an archaeologist. Uh, she takes quite a few digs at some archaeologists in this book, so that was kind of fun. It's not higher on my list because I could kind of see the ending coming, though of course she still manages her classic Chrissy, Christie twists and turns. And finally, my number one Agatha Christie book that I've read is Murder on the Orient Express. Incredible. This was recently turned into a movie with um, Daisy Ridley, Josh Gad. Murder on the Orient Express is about a train ride gone wrong. Somebody is murdered on the train that the incredible Hercule Poirot is on. And the train is then snowed in on its trip. So now Hercule Poirot has all the suspects on the train and can he solve this murder? You'll have to read to find out. Actually, um, fair warning that the murder on the Orient Express is actually talked about in Death in the Nile, which was like a fun little oh, throwback. Um, but I would probably read this before reading Death in the Nile so that you're not spoiled for anything. If you guys have read any of her books I didn't mention, please let me know and give me your recs because I want to know where to go next. I kind of want to read like the last Hercule Poirot book. Oh my god, how emotional would that be? Um, oh my god, Hercule Poirot fanfic? I will be making videos every single Tuesday, so see you next Tuesday.